so uh, here we are sitting in between a hardcore PRNG uh, talk and uh, next talk, which is uh, advanced malware campaigns. So this is kind of a, a break, if you want. We'll talk about Montreal and what, um, what we're doing, uh, why we're doing it, how, the, some lessons we've learned, uh, tools and techniques, and uh, what's next. But first, I'm Olivier Bilodeau. You might remember me from such uh, talks such as how not to suck at CTF and being generally drunk at Hackfest. <laughs> But more seriously, uh, Pierre Levitt presented me quite well, so I guess I'll just uh, skip. But some things I want to say is I'm passionate about InfoSec, uh, open source, and the community. So for me, uh, you know, Montreal and all of the, the speaking and the, the things I do is mostly for the people because I enjoy uh, hanging out with them. Uh, I'll also be uh, uh, running, if my voice uh, permit, the Hacker Jeopardy tomorrow at night. I think it's uh, not that advertised, but it's open to the public. So uh, if you are not participating in the CTF, you can still come and attend the Hacker Jeopardy. You need to register somewhere. I think it was men mentioned once on Twitter or something. Uh, or ask an organizer. So uh, it starts at what time do we start? 10 p.m., so yeah, I didn't know when I finished my slides, uh, and it was late, so no admin was available. Uh, so I, I, for the Hacker Jeopardy, I uh, write all the questions myself, mostly, like I get maybe 10 questions from uh, friends, and uh, I run the show, and I, I do the animation. I enjoy it a lot, so I, I hope you guys will be there and enjoy it too. So what is Montreal? It's a mo monthly workshop where we uh, solve capture the flag challenges. Uh, thankfully, uh, because of Guillaume's presentation yesterday, I won't need to explain what a CTF is because it's kind of painful to explain, so I'll just assume you know. Uh, we uh, provide full archives uh, of the past challenges on our website. Uh, our website. We, we think it's important, uh, so we put a lot of effort into it. Uh, and it's, it's taking time, and, and some of them are, are missing. But, uh, so you can you know, uh, have a write-up, you can have the files most, most of the time. Uh, and redo the challenges if you couldn't attend the Montreal. So for, um, uh, let's say, specific things you are trying to accomplish, for example, at Nordsec, maybe you'll remember, oh, we did this at XYZ Montreal, and then you can go in the archive and fetch the write-up. So it's uh, another resource for, uh, for CTF, if you want. So we uh, used to do Montreal back in the 70s. Uh, it was... Uh, Uh, old school thing? No, it's just a joke. It was an Instagram filter. Sorry about that. So the, the, the archives, uh, here's an example of the archive. We keep them by date. We have uh, uh, almost all of them, like I said. And we also have them by topic. So uh, Android, Crack Me, Crypto, this is all stuff we are already have uh, in there. Forensic, hardware, iOS, reverse engineering, SQL, SQL injection, and so forth. We also covered uh, international and local CTFs. So we've done uh, Advent Calendar, Boston Key Party, C uh, CIS, SCA, CISA uh, several times, Hackfest, a lot of challenges from the Hackfest, a lot of challenges from NordSec, PlateCTF, and Act.lu. We feature uh, some of the w uh, web's gem in order to present our challenges. So this is something I put a lot of effort in, and uh, I know it's stupid, but I, I like it, so I still do it. So we presented some challenges with pictures like this. Um, more serious pictures like this, which we had a smart card uh, presentation from Pierre David, who did the smart card track at uh, NordSec. We had stuff month where we would do only parties and no, uh, no challenges. Sometimes the uh, people who produce the challenge send us a picture like, this is how I felt when I was doing the challenge. So here you go. And we just like, are generally having fun and doing things that are really <laughs> sometimes inappropriate. But Montreal is also uh, a place to meet celebrities. Like our next speaker, Joan Calvet, was seen at the last uh, Montreal, which was uh, this uh, Monday. So uh, you could uh, speak to him. He's, he was accessible, like really, really here. Uh, why are we doing it? We started doing it because uh, we wanted to be uh, better at CTF, but mostly because we sucked at DEF CON quals. <laughs> And by sucking, I mean uh, we were missing uh, things uh, and people and uh, focus on the, the random and the pwnables. This is pretty old. It's like five, six years ago. 
Uh, but more on a serious note, it's primarily to add depth on, uh, on our team so that everyone can do web, everyone can do the easy things, uh, and we have a few specialized guys who can go really, really, really deep, like rhetorical and stuff like that. So depth is really something we can do if we do, you know, one challenge every month about a topic that changes over time. So we didn't really succeed at that. Still haven't qualified at DEF CON quals, but uh, I'm not there anymore, like the, the young people in our team will say, well, you, you can, you know, complain, but you're never, we never see you. It's true, I'm old, I have kids, I don't do CTF anymore, <laughs> except NordSec and a few of them. So, uh, but still, running Montreal is uh, not as time consuming as 48 hours uh, in a full lab, so I can, I can do that. Um, so, in fact, what is it about? It's more about uh, routine and uh, doing. So, uh, by routine, what I mean is uh, no matter what, uh, I spend three hours a month doing a C CTF challenges. So, it's uh, kind of mandatory uh, work, uh, which is nice. And then I get to uh, hang out with some friends and have beer. So, uh, this, is, this is good for me. And um, doing, it's... The, the style that we've chosen. So a lot of the, the hacking uh, community and stuff, there's a lot of, of talks. And talks are good to learn stuff. You write down the tool name, but you never tried it. You don't have it installed on your computer. It's, it's just, you know, getting you to the, 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 the state where you need to be. So when we uh, started the Montreal, we decided, like, we don't need talks. We need, you know, hands-on things. We need to bring, you know, computers and, and do the challenges uh, together and even create teams as uh, ad hoc, you know. At some point, uh, after an hour and a half, maybe you realize, oh, my code is like messy and I'm not doing anything towards the goal. And you see that the guy besides you is actually doing good progress. And so you sit together and abandon your own, your own things and then get closer to the challenge, making a friend at the same time. So it's really the, the doing aspect uh, for, uh, for us is key in Montreal. And this way, uh, also, your machine is already uh, always ready to go to war because you checked out the tools, you have them. You know? when, uh, I'm sure uh, at, uh, at Friday, the internet, uh, everyone will be downloading Kali Linux and stuff like that and launching VMs. It's like, it's too late. You should always have a war machine ready for you know, legitimate hacking and Montreal. So, yeah, uh, how? Um, it's pretty simple. Someone proposes a challenge. Usually, uh, it's not even us, the organizers, which uh, I'll, I'll tell it to later. Uh, we work on it, like, for three hours, like I said. He presents the solution, and then we go and have beer. But sometimes, like uh, this week, this Monday, we just had beer. No, uh, no challenges. But especially before NordSec and uh, sometimes during the summer, we just do more of a community uh, hangout. Um, participant must bring laptops. Uh, hack and Haddock team, pretty uh, obvious. So when? Uh, we've decided early on that it should be a fixed date so that people wouldn't have to remember uh, like going and add it to their agenda or stuff like that. So it's the third Monday of every month. And it's almost always the same venue, but you still need to check sometimes because uh, we, uh, Nutman House was reno uh, go undergoing renovation, so we, we actually did go to the Go Google's office uh, for that time. And now we pretty much like the Google venue, so we now oscillate between um, uh, Google's offices and Nutman House. Uh, and so for this, you need to check. But it's always the third Monday of every month. Who is behind this? Uh, Pierre-Marc Bureau. I'll ask the guys that are here to uh, stand up. So uh, we are uh, four. Um, uh, stand up. I, Sebastien is not there? Oh, Sebastien. Stand up, Sebastien. And so the, the other guy, the fourth guy, uh, Marc Etienne, is on uh, vacation. So he's not here. So the four of us, uh, what we do is we take each uh, a month during the, the, you know, the next semester, if you want, and then we handle the whole organization for uh, the, the, the month in, in question. So last month, it, it was me, actually, that covered for Pierre Max. Uh, he was away on a conference. 
Um, next month is Sebastian who is taking responsibility. And we have uh, opportunities for people who want to participate to step in. If we are six people or 12 people, we would have only one month to organize per year, which would be great, you know, because we, can, we could spend time instead of, of uh, presenting challenges, because now we do mostly, you know, meta stuff. Anyway, so I want to give also a few uh, shout outs to the, the presenter because it's about them, you know, uh, more. <laughs> Mathieu is uh, hiding. <laughs> You had hair back then. <laughs> so uh, it's, um, it, it's the people who uh, actually make the thing work, you know, because presenting takes more time than uh, uh, only running the show. So um, th first, thanks to uh, Rimtang to, give up to uh, have found the name, which is really cool. I, I, we, we really all stand behind it. Really a nice name. And all of these guys uh, listed here, I won't read them because it's boring. But... Uh, these guys are, uh, I think, like 80% is probably in this room. So uh, thanks, guys, and it's because of you that we've uh, been successful. Now let's have a little cheesy award uh, ceremony. Um, a few awards should go to. So the most Montreal attended without working actually on any of the challenges. And the award goes to, I don't think he's here, our very own NorthSec president, <laughs> Mr. Gabriel Tremblay. He's still there, that's good. Longest challenge explanation. Going more than three times over the allocated time slot. And the, the award goes to NorthSec Logistics, Monsieur François Prou. <laughs> it was good though, it was a complex forensic, iOS forensic uh, challenge, so he wanted to show us everything that was in there. And making us secretly exploit a zero-day vulnerability in a library. <laughs> Mr. Philip Artaud. <laughs> so uh, he, uh, uh, like when I was doing the archive, he sent me an email like, oh, this uh, Montreal, uh, we did, uh, we worked on this CVE, which was not released at the time we worked on it. <laughs> and so... It's an XXE injection in Apache uh, Batic. So now, the lessons that we've learned. Lesson zero, co-maintainership doesn't work. At first, we tried to have like core volunteers and then, you know, you do Facebook, you do emails, uh, I do Google Plus, and uh, you do Twitter and stuff, and uh, you do the bookings, and I call Benelux to, do, to see how many will be, and it, it just didn't work. So uh, this is something that, like, naively, you can think you can share a load like that, but I guess uh, we can work it out. So we have this new, you know, pre-assigned guys thing that I uh, talked about earlier. Lesson one, we, we accidentally offended several communities, and uh, for that, we're sorry. Uh, we, I would have loved to share some of the details of this, but it could offend again, you know, the people. So... <laughs> So we'll just keep this for, you know, side uh, all-way conversations. But, uh, so now we're more careful, and uh, Gabriel doesn't do images. <laughs> Let's just say it that way. <laughs> Lesson number two, even though uh, presenting takes a long time, uh, only organizing uh, the monthly uh, runs takes time too. So this is an uh, average time spent on a typical Montreal. As you can see, finding the right funny picture is very important to me, and I put a lot of effort in it. So maybe I'm doing some things wrong. <laughs> Lessons three. Uh, we started recently having checkpoints. So uh, like uh, after half an hour or an hour, where is everyone? And then looking, OK, you should have this, and we can move on. So for complex challenges, it's a good thing, because most of the time, like, the, I presented a, um, a, a, a challenge where it was a Perl interpreter who has been compiled into an ELF binary, and I, to solve it, it took me, like, eight hours. So how I w am I supposed to present this and have people, you know, who doesn't know maybe the Perl's internal as much as I do, and reverse engineering, solve it in three? So we decided, okay, let's do checkpoints and then um, skip some steps 
and uh, provide code uh, to uh, move further along. And uh, we did, uh, Tahir did this also last month, and it proved to be really good because everyone is like focusing and learning new things and installing the tools for the right steps. So it's really um, um, key. And also people tend to regroup at these stages. Like, okay, so if let's say four people were uh, like following really closely, then, uh, oh, I, I can help you and I'll go sit beside you instead of continuing my stuff. So, and, and then this is again the making friends thing uh, over. So, tools and techniques. There are no single tools or techniques. The end. That's what I did at my How Not to Suck at CTF talk, and I kind of regretted it. So uh, joking aside, uh, what I want to say by this is that there are various tools, and I decided to highlight a few of them, but this is my personal choice, my personal choices. It's not, uh, I'm not imposing them, they're not like the, the thing to use or anything. So just take, take this uh, with a grain of salt. So of course, uh, learn a scripting language. It's all like most of the time we, we write some code. Um, so uh, try to keep snippets of code and build, you know, a, I call it my scratch pad. I have a folder where all my all Python snippets in it is. And then when I need to XOR things, I have a XOR that XORs like everything. And uh, I, I, I reuse it. Uh, I said um, to choose a scripting language, but of course, preferably Python 3. And not 2. Uh, use IPython and IPython Notebook. If you've never used IPython Notebook, you've got to try it. If you have IPython installed, it's really easy to, uh, to uh, run it. And it's a really nice way to, again, uh, keep documentation and execution really close together. So uh, this is actually a tip that I got from Gabriel like three years ago. He presented his solution using IPython Notebook. And I was amazed by uh, how uh, interesting and flexible it is. And now whenever I start a CDF, I start a notebook and I, I import, you know, the, the functions I reuse all the time and I, I start from there and you can share it. Uh, it's it's uh, HTTP, so, so multiple people can connect to it. It's kind of a, a Python kernel uh, exposed via HTTP uh, through a nice web interface. It's, it's really cool. Don't use plain GDB. For the, the type of stuff we do, reverse engineering, uh, the plain GDB is just not doing it. Uh, get a fancy GDB in it. There are good ones uh, readily available from uh, Google. Or use a P3DA uh, or PEDA. So this is the, the PEDA fork that works on Python 3, with Python 3. Uh, I think, w is uh, Crowell going to be at, uh, it, or is he right now at NordSec? He's coming for uh, the CTF. So this is this, uh, this guy who, uh, who forked it. He is uh, going to be here this weekend, and I want to, like, I don't know, kiss his feet or something. Because it's, uh, it's really useful to have it in Python 3 since Ubuntu uh, compiled the GDB with Python 3 support and dropped the Python 2. You cannot have both. So, yeah, cool stuff. Um, from time to time, try to uh, take the time to try Radar again. Uh, instead of a pirated IDA Pro, it's just, like, we need to get rid of proprietary things. So I just like do a little political message here. I actually presented my, uh, the last uh, Montreal I present uh, on the, the Perl thing uh, using Radar 2. Of course, I didn't solve it with Radar, unfortunately, but I still took the time to learn it and present it fully with Radar, and it actually worked quite well. Wireshark is the bomb, and you should learn T Shark. Uh, the, there's uh, so many cool things you can do with you know Wireshark, T Shark, and Python code. Uh, I use that a lot at work too. So uh, this is my tip. Uh, Burp or OWASP. Unfortunately, I'm not the best guy for web, so my my tool my my tools might be way outdated. I don't know. Uh, use Vagrant for disposable VMs. Uh, it's so easy to get a VM quickly if you need to run, you know, a 32-bit or something, or or an old version of Red Hat or Dislibc or that. You go on the Vagrant boxes, you find the right server you want to run, and then just boom on the command line, everything, no GUI, and it's uh, the backend is VirtualBox. Most people already have it installed. So it's really nice for uh, disposable VMs. Uh, learn to use a powerful text editor like Vim, Sublime, or Emacs. Uh, but preferably Vim, of course. Now, uh, the developer tools of your browser. This is also really, really powerful. And uh, now they have like 
really neat things for a hacker. Like you do the thing in your browser and then you realize you need to automate it and now you go and painfully you know, copy and paste values one by one into your curl command when now you have a, a right click copy as curl right into Chrome on a request. So now you can paste it in the terminal. You have all the cookies and all the stuff for your request in there. So it, it, it's worth it to take the time to learn uh, some uh, of, the, of these tricks. So what's next for Montreal? I am proud to announce that we are sponsored by the Benelux for a free beer after the workshop from now on at uh, the next Montreal. Yeah. <laughs> Slow clap. We're really glad about this. Uh, we've been hanging out there. It's like just normal that they sponsor us, I guess. But for us, it's like a recognition, you know. It's good. Uh, we intend on taking no breaks this summer, so we'll have a full, uh, full schedule uh, for, for this summer. And I'm revealing information about next month that is not yet confirmed, so it's subject to change. But we will probably have a presenter that is outside of Montreal, so a guy from Seattle, a Googler who works at Google, and he wants to present a DEF CON Qual's uh, 2015 challenge, so it should be really interesting and hard and we'll have the opportunity to meet this guy, which I didn't want to name because it's not confirmed. So now it's time for you to participate. This is what's next, you know, part you participate. So we want you to come to Montreal. We want you to present at Montreal. Uh, anyone can do it, and uh, it's, it's always fun to see the new approaches to problems. We also want sponsors of Montreal, and the best way to sponsor is to present or create a challenge and it could also be hosted at your offices. So if you have a cool office, you want you know, to hire people, and you, you have security team, have them create a challenge, and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll all go there, and uh, you'll have to provide some beverages, maybe. <laughs> Should. And, um, <laughs> and then for you, it's good visibility. For us, it's a cool challenge, and meeting new places, seeing new venues. So it's win-win. Now, the way to... Uh, uh, get in touch and uh, get this all together is um, uh, through mailing list, Twitter, uh, we are uh, at some other places, Facebook, Google+, and you can get also involved on um, uh, the meta mailing list, which is the mailing list for you know people interested in the behind the scenes. And uh, we are more than the four of us on the meta list, so it's really open, archives are open, uh, you can look at them. Uh, it's, it, it's really, uh, we, don't want, we don't have any secrets. You can also contribute and participate. And by contributing, I really mean it. Like, let's see what we can do. Here, you can modify our website through GitHub. And this was a pull request that I made yesterday uh, to demo the thing that, the fact that you can contribute. So if you see something shitty on our site, you can, let's look at it. Uh, how come I got no address bar? So I go on the um, uh, learning resources, and I don't see, uh, I don't see like NordSec or Hackfest in here, and I want to fix that. So what I do is I create a pull request, pretty simple. I change some markdown, and I submit it. So let's accept it. Where is the button? And this is green, it's probably good. No, this is <laughs> <laughs> merge pull request. I got it. All right, confirm the merge. Merging. I, we can go back and see. This is the wonders of not doing anything regarding your infrastructure. And so we live, we modified Montreal's website. How easy was that? <laughs> so no, you can do it. If I could do it while not really seeing what I did, you can do it also. And uh, that's it. Uh, is there any uh, questions? <laughs>